When I take a look at the numbers, the numbers are really high, so it looks like there's a millimeter inch issue that I'm having. Let me turn off my simulation first. Close. Let's see. Um, actions post process. This needs to be for a specific type of program. Let's see if they have it. Mach 3, there we go. That looks good. Alright, and see. Okay, I figured out what the post process is. And actually, I think it's just. I saved the. The program settings is kind of misleading. It should say, like, the uh, NC file or the tap file or whatever. And uh, so when I press post, I selected the, the. Let's go milling here. Output folder, tap. We can do that. So let's go ahead and post it. And then I'm putting it into my specified folder that I need it in so I can run it. And I'll replace it because I already did it. And it installs brackets, which is a script editing tool or a programming editing tool that um, works with so many different um, styles of programming from like web design and uh, to even G-code like this. So that's pretty cool that it installed this. I like this uh, program. So brackets is by, is by Adobe and I think it's in, um, in, a, in a beta stage but I'm not sure. So that's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and machine. Start machining this stuff out. I should probably save this file. It says un, untitled. So let's save it. Uh, let's see. I'll save it as Red Frog Real Separators. Save. The file looks like it loaded up fine, but when I take a look at the numbers, the numbers are really high. So it looks like there's a millimeter inch issue that I'm having so I'm gonna have to take a look at the file and see why. So I took a look at the file in Mach 3 and it looks like it was in millimeters or something so let me take a look at maybe the post process inches let me try that see if it makes a difference save yes okay sharing violation oh, I gotta call it something else because I have it open it's open in my other computer for the machine. So I'll call this Red Frog Real Separators 1 in inches. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, I just reloaded it and it looks like it's correct. But in the post process function, it said I was matching the document's specification. So I need to look at what the document setting is. And then I think I want to put my post processing back to document. So it matches the document settings, not just inches, arbitrarily putting inches in there. So, so let's take a look and how, uh, see how to do that. Okay, here is the problem. I have it as units millimeters here. So I'm going to go back to the post processor. I'm going to put this back to document unit. Uh, actually, I'm going to cancel that first. I'm going to change this to inches and press OK. And I personally like um, metric more. It's just everything that I have set up on my machine is in inches, so I want to match that. So I'm going to go here and it's document unit. That's good. So I'm going to post it under the main one and save that. Yes. Okay. So that should be set.
perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. It's nice. See, there's no change all the way around. That's really good. So that's a testament to the Fabricator Pro, how you can have repeatability. So a couple of issues that I've noticed through the process of machining would be that the pecking distance should be increased. Four millimeters is a little bit too little when pecking in and out of going into the, uh, creating the holes. They're blind holes in the beginning, and that's why I want to peck, because there's no place really for the, the chips to go. But I think four millimeters is a little bit too small, and I think I want to maybe just do maybe one or two pecks through, through the entire process. The feed rate seemed a little slow. What did you think? It was 60. It was 60 inches per minute? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should increase that to... At least double. Yeah, double that. Okay. So I'm going to modify the document and then we'll make another one.